so when I first I, I checked the manifest premiere out I have a review for it as well on the channel so you if you want you can go check that one out um, and uh, I did a review for the premiere and I think I talked about um, the ratings or maybe not in the video um, uh, but when did I talk about them then I think maybe in let's talk television I maybe talked about it where they had 10 million viewers for that premiere uh, right and you know then it ends up that the, that was just the live viewers, right? So they got 10 million live viewers, which is, you know, insane just in itself for a premiere. And then a week later with these delayed viewing statistics, they get 18 million viewers. It is insane. So, and I love this, right? They say those are the biggest seven day gains of any show in premiere week ever, like it, ever. So it is insane how well Manifest is doing right now. Um, now, again, this we have to be reminded of this. Does this mean that Manifest is the new loss? Does this mean that it's, you know, the new Breaking Bad or whatever, right? No, right? It, I, I think it, those are two different things, right? I think it means it's a popular show. A lot of people are watching it. But that doesn't always mean that it is, you know, the best show on TV, right? You see that all the time, right? Breaking Bad, I don't think it was ever the most viewed show, right? But a lot of people still consider it the best television show ever. So, you know, again, we have to understand that. But in terms of popularity and viewership and the money that NBC is going to be making from this show, it is, uh, it, it's, it's just through the roof. It's insane. So, anyways... Uh, I think this was an obvious decision for NBC to make to give them a full season order, uh, which only ends up actually being three more episodes, but still, I mean, those are three more episodes that they didn't have before, and now the season will be a full 16 for a season one, and we don't see that a lot right now. A lot of shows are kind of going with that 10 episode uh, format uh, that kind of Netflix kind of first came out with, I would say. Um, a lot of seasons are going with that, or 13. So for a season one like this show uh, to have a 16 episodes first season, I think that's going to be beneficial for NBC and Manifest. So insane, insane numbers here. Probably the most amazing number, the most astonishing number out of this whole thing is the 4.2 uh, rating in the 18 to 49 demo. That is insane. Like that is insane. Um, and I think that really speaks to the fact that this show is is enjoyable to so many different audiences. And I mentioned this in the premiere review. Um, but it's not a show that's kind of restricted to any one you know, generation or any one type of viewer. I think really anyone can enjoy this type of show. Um, and a lot of people are comparing it to Lost. So I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, I think I'm one episode behind. I didn't catch this week's episode because I've been very, very busy this week and last week. Um, with, with a lot of stuff, so anyways, um, I have that one to catch up on, but the first, I believe, three episodes I've seen, or is it first three or four? Um, I know, I think it's the first three, so the first three episodes have been very good, the mystery is great, um, and uh, again, I, I haven't seen Lost, so I, I can't really make those comparisons, but I totally see where people are coming from, and obviously we see it in the ratings, right? We see it in the ratings, so um, this is just insane, um, the amount of uh, support that they've had. But again, another question to raise here is, how did they gain 8 million viewers in delayed viewing in this week, right? So either that means a lot of people, you know, PVR'd or DVR'd it, right? They, they recorded it and watched it later. Um, they watched on the NBC website. They watched through, I think NBC has somewhat of a streaming service where you can kind of pay to watch the episodes. Um, so maybe any of those three, I guess, um, would have been that spark for that 8 million more viewers. Uh, but again, that's insane. So again, I think that speaks to what's going on right now in current times in that more people are, instead of watching it live, they're you know going online, seeing what other people think, and then going to a streaming service or going you know to the website and paying that way and watching the episodes because you hear more and more people you know whether it's true or not saying you know oh, i don't have cable anymore i cut the cable right in my house um and i mean maybe that's true i think a lot of people are kind of you know bullshitting but anyways um and so maybe they're all going online now and checking out the show after and maybe hearing you know oh well this this show got a lot of good buzz the ratings are good why don't, I'm going to check it out. I'm going to go online, pay for this episode or whatever, and I'm going to check it out. 
And I think that's what happened with this show. So, the biggest thing, though, is, is will this continue? Yes, the premiere got 18.4 million viewers. Again, I, insane. Like, that's, a, you know, for a network premiere, a network pilot, that is insane. Like, NBC has got to be just, um, you know, floored right now. They, they got to just be so excited and probably so thankful to the creators and everyone involved with Manifest right now. Um, and New Amsterdam. New Amsterdam has been great for them too. So, again, this speaks to NBC's very, very big success in this fall season uh, so far. Um, you know, we're only about four, you know, we're about a month into the fall season and they have already, I would say they've already won the fall season uh, because they've already ordered two of their shows to full season orders and Manifest and, and uh, well, Manifest is number one and I believe New Amsterdam is like number two or three uh, in the new shows in terms of ratings. So like, insane job for NBC this uh, this fall. But anyways, uh, I totally am, am on board with this. I think they definitely deserve the full season order and we'll have to see what these three more episodes will have.